The U.S.-led coalition against Islamic State has confirmed another, another uh, 61 civilian deaths are likely to have been caused by continued air and artillery strikes in Iraq and Syria. In the month of July, the coalition completed the assessment of 37 reports, resulting in 61 unintentional civilian deaths. The coalition assesses that it is more likely than not at least 685 civilians have been unintentionally killed by coalition strikes since the start of Operation Inherent Resolve. Meanwhile, active military operations, either backed up or carried out by the US, they do continue in both countries. A humanitarian organizations, though, raising the alarm over the impact on innocent lives. But America's Defense Secretary believes locals understand the reason they're fighting there. We are the good guys, and the innocent people on a battlefield know the difference. I saw with my own eyes three houses destroyed in an airstrike. ISIS fighters first went there and ran away. Then the jets bombed where they were. 17 civilians were killed. They would go on the roofs of people's houses and start shooting. They wouldn't let people live. Minutes later, jets would bomb the houses with all the civilians still inside. We ran from the shelling, from the coalition. We left, and the people from Islamic State came. We were directly targeted by the coalition. It was very clear that there were no insurgents in the area. There were children playing in the streets, and we were carrying water from a tap. Our house and civilian homes were directly targeted. The place bombed us heavily. This happened in downtown Mishleb and around. ISIL was slaughtering people. Many were killed and houses were destroyed. Coalition shelling targets civilians. It hits civilians. Four-story houses full of people were bombed all over the neighborhood. Certainly, many have been killed. Among them, my cousin. He died in Raqqa in an airstrike. The UN estimates that an average of 27 people are being killed in Raqqa every day. The situation in the Syrian city of Raqqa, mentioned just there, is of particular concern to the UN. Thousands of civilians are still trapped between ISIL's cruelty and intense coalition strikes. Author Nicholas J. D uh, J. S. Davies, who's written extensively on the invasion of Iraq, suggests that the number of civilian deaths there and in neighboring Syria are much higher than officials are claiming. What is coming from the coalition are not, in fact, estimates of total civilian casualties. What they are is a very limited number of individual incidents that have been reported, and so therefore the U.S. authorities have had to address them and conduct some sort of investigation. This is, this is very, very limited. This is the way the U.S. has conducted warfare throughout its so-called war on terror. And it has relied on the media to, to accept these completely absurd uh, numbers that it puts out as a serious estimate of the numbers of civilians being killed. Uh, this is, you know, this, this, this is absurd.